part is actually with this, you know, just working with individuals about how they can apply essentialism in their own world. And she, when I asked her, I said, well, what is something essential in your life that you're under investing in? And I said, what's your first thought? And her first thought was, was family. And she said, that surprises yeah. me because normally I'm really good at that. She said, I'm showing up physically for them. Uh, but when I actually go to be with them, I'm there, but I'm not present. She said, yeah. she, the way she said it, she said, when I go to sort of uh, you know, the source of my emotions, of my love, of my, when I go to that source, there's like nothing to give. Yeah. And so we talked all about how she can, uh, how she needs to be able to protect the asset that is her first. Yeah. Uh, and that as she does that, she'll be able to better serve her family, the people that matter most to her, and then be more selective in what she does in work. There's yeah. way more than she can possibly do in work all the time. And especially over these coming months, the chances are it will be the same or greater uh, as she goes into the winter months. And so if you, if you get that wrong, you're going to be completely burned out. Uh, and, and really it's an unsustainable situation and you can cause a lot of damage in, in, your, in your attempt to make things better. So prioritization isn't just with people out there. It's also not just saying no to yourself, but really working out what your yeses need to be yeah. so that you manage your own life and take more responsibility for that prioritization so that you can then continue to give to others and to contribute better to others, uh, but in more selective, thoughtful ways.